Welcome to the exciting new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Brian. And I'm Katie. Yeah. Hi, Katie. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. I'm as sorry. We, I'm sorry they had to join us for this. As okay. we discussed, don't give away <laughs> well, your scores so say, early. Yeah, people controversial are, people opinion are turning is, off the podcast now. <laughs> I really enjoyed this movie. Oh my god! I would watch it again. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get into this. Don't give away our score. I can't yet. even understand what's happening right now. I didn't even. Do we watch we, the same movie? I didn't tell everybody what movie we watched. We watched Yellowbeard. I guess that is the movie they watched as well. <laughs> Rated PG, running time hour and thirty six <laughs> minutes. PG. I forgot to write the date of when it was released. June something, nineteen eighty three. This was PG. I can't yeah. believe this was PG. Yes, it was. All the boobs. I know. Man. All the rape. Oh, all the rape. <laughs> It was directed by Mel Damsky. Top four was Lou Grant. How many episodes of Lou Grant do you think he directed, Andy? How many did he personally direct? Yes. 17. Katie. Oh. 18. Oh. 125. He did seven of 114 episodes of Lou Grant. <laughs> what is Lou Grant? That's a TV show. That was okay. a spinoff of the Mary Tyler Moore show. Oh. He also directed uh, Psych. Something just fell on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it nailed you in the head. It was did. It? One of my things is, I get better tape. I will. Uh, um, the TV I show Psych. He was in twenty. He directed twenty three of one hundred and twenty one episodes of Psych. I don't even know what that is. Really? That's one of those That's USA a great TV show. shows. I think is um, Shalhoub. Is he in that? Tony Shalhoub. Uh, is that Monk? No, no, that's it's Monk. That's Monk, right? Okay, yeah. This is the guy from The West Wing is in it, but it's a funny show. It's on USA, I think. One of those networks, mm-hmm. TNT or USA, American Dream, and still kicking the fabulous Palm Springs Follies. Nothing that we really heard of. The before. only thing about American Dreams I know is that Eric the Midget on the Howard Stern show used to. Talk, I think he was on that one time. There was only he only he did two of the nine episodes. He might have been yeah, the director. Maybe, for it, yeah. maybe. <laughs> that would be awesome if he was. After serving two decades in prison, Yellowbeard, played by Graham Chapman, breaks out, determined to recover the treasure that he buried so long ago, alongside his son, old crew in the British Navy. Yellowbeard, Graham Chapman, once again. A pirate's pirate is allowed to escape from prison to lead the authorities to his treasure. He finds that his wife neglected to tell him that they have a son, now 20 years old, and shame of shame, an intellectual. The British Navy, Yellowbeard, his son, and members of Yellowbeard's old crew all go after the treasure. Hmm. Actually, his crew was that lord... And, the, and doctor. the doctor. I loved the two of them. There was no. I really enjoyed. Like them. there were people that you didn't know were on the side of the this guy, and then they changed to this guy. Oh. And I, oh. I have a page of just questions because I couldn't understand things, but I still enjoyed yeah, you myself. Still enjoyed it. Here's some taglines: um, swashbucklers, pirates, public flogging, saucy tarts, beggars, queens, and Jolly Rogers. There were no saucy tarts in that movie. Um, as you see on the cover, was Madeline Kahn not a saucy on the tars? cover of this no. one? No. I don't ship, know what she was. A shipload of laughs. A shipload of laughs. The fangirls for Cheech and Chong. Oh yeah, sure. They were saucy tarts. I had questions about those women as well. <laughs> Graham Chapman. Had to bring so many questions. <laughs> Graham Chapman. No one will Yellow that. beard. If you say you don't know where it is, I'll nail your tits to the table. He played uh, <laughs> he played Yellowbeard. He died in eighty nine, uh, very young. He was only fifty eight. Spinal and throat cancer. I yeah. remember when he died. His top four is all Python. Yeah, we did we, Monty Python's we Meaning of Life so already, why, so we we we're don't go through the cast pretty quick, probably because we discussed all of them. So just uh, we, we did discuss all these. Yeah, yeah. Peter Boyle, we discussed. He played Moon. He died in two thousand six. He was only seventy one. That was multiple myeloma and heart disease. He was named Moon because Keith Moon one was the, one of the influences of this. He was movie. Uh, yeah, him and Graham Chapman were best friends, pretty much. Keith Moon's a drummer for the band The Who. Thank you. Just in case you didn't know, I he did died young, also. That. Yeah, he died way young. <laughs> uh, he he's best known for Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. Red Heat, Taxi Driver, and Young Frankenstein, yes. <laughs> which we all did. Yes, mm-hmm. that's right. You were here for that. <laughs> Um, playing El Segundo was Cheech Marin. We have not talked about Cheech Marin. Excuse me. Why are you banging your head like that? Oh, was I? Yes, you was. Was, was I? <laughs> <laughs> we all seen you, you silly man. That was oh, actually. that was mostly Chong. Chong you that was mostly man. Chong. I got up for both of them. You silly man. What do you got for his top four? Anybody? Open Smoke. Yes. How about uh, 
Next movie? No. How about Corsica Brothers? Have they been in anything? In no. This century? any other Cheating Chong no. properties? How about that uh, Don Johnson show? Um, Not a TV show. They're all movies. Oh. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. We just. I just watched something with, oh, I, yeah, I watched that Woody Harrelson movie that he was in. That's not here. Uh, he did a bunch of TV shows. Yeah, but that, they make it, it's all yeah. movies. You don't want to Born try. in East LA. Born in East LA is there. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you the other two. I don't think you're going to get them. Uh, Tin Cup and oh, From Dusk that. Till Dawn. God damn, good Great movie. Great movie, yeah. Um, up next was Tommy Chong. He played El Nebuloso. Was that clip also for him? Yeah. It was mostly him. (laughs) Now, his top four has three Cheech and Chong movies. Up in Smoke? Yes. Next movie? Yes. Corsica Brothers? No. Um, What's the other one? And the other movie is a cartoon. Oh, I was going to say that 70s show, but I guess that's not it. I don't know. Still smoking, still smoking, and Zootopia. Oh, wow. Zootopia. I love that movie. That was a good movie. I remember watching that one. Uh, Peter Cook played Lord Lamborn. Who's that uh, oh, chap oh, who just oh, sees her oh, and her wife? Do you know him? Oh, steady, steady. Steady. He died young, also in '95. He was only 57 from a gastrointestinal hemorrhage. Oh. He was hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Top four for him. I don't think we talked discussed peter cook did we no and i don't think i would know anything that he did um princess bride oh who's he in princess oh mm. yellow beard supergirl and bedazzled oh i don't know what bedazzled now they say princess bride i know him in Pr- princess bride yes who is he in princess bride he's the torturer he's the one <gasps> oh like when he's- <laughs> uh playing gilbert marty feldman as a crocodile <laughs> um this he, movie killed marty feldman <laughs> marty feldman died during the production of this movie no yeah in december was of it 1982. In the acid it was um, a heart attack i think or he had a heart attack following food poisoning oh so um we discussed him it was uh, those fish peter boyle was just like forking <laughs> out of the ocean with his we talk. talked about him when we discussed uh young frankenstein his other top four is marty the last remake of bo jest and in god we trust or give me that prime really? time religion yeah like, not like silent, silent movie, movie or, or like yeah. young frankenstein <laughs> young frankenstein oh there, was yeah. it? okay all right uh paper uh, or now next we had um martin hewitt he played Dan. I can't kill him. He brought me up. Just like a father. Oh, you mean he's beaten you and kicked you and smashed you in the teeth? <laughs> <Yeah>. No. no. <laughs> yes, no. no. What kind of father is that? Kill him. No. <laughs> Do you want to try his top four? Uh, I, I never I saw this guy before else, or yeah. ever yeah. again. Yellow Beard. Yes. Um, <laughs> Endless Love. Oh, the Brooke Shields movie? <laughs> Alien Predator. And two, the, two Moon Junction. It's not Alien versus Predator. It was Alien Predator. Oh, okay, so it's not yeah. like with an alien and a predator. Yeah. It's just with an alien predator. Yeah, and then Two Moon Junction. I feel like he was supposed to be like a heartthrob kind of yeah. character, and he just wasn't. It, yeah, he, he never just took wasn't. off. And never picked. Yeah, never took. Like, well, he was so boring in the movie. He just didn't have it. He didn't have any pizzazz. There was nothing. No. Yeah, he was like white bread. That was his job, though. Just to be he, well, he's I mean, not a pirate. That's true, but still, like, there's some. He but he could have been, been, been a heartthrob as a non-pirate. Like, my yeah. favorite character in Pirates of the Caribbean is this one-off character that's a priest. Love him, he's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a priest. Saving Eric mermaids. Hot priests. <laughs> Saving Eric those Idol, cricket. Eric Idle played Commander Clement. This is for both Eric Idle and John Cleese. <laughs> Blind, you stupid son! I may be blind, but I have a cute earring. I'm not interested in your jewelry, cloth eyes. I'm trying to get a yellow beard. I like that line, the earring and hearing. Um, John Cleese was the blind pew, since we're talking about, uh, you shared that for both of them. Uh, Both their top four was Python, but they each had an addition, like uh, Idol had Baron Munchausen was in there, and uh, John Cleese had a fish called Wanda. Which was... One of the best not movies Harry of all Potter. time. He's so good. Oh, yeah. Harry he's Potter. nearly headless. Yeah, it's not in there. Tank? 
Um, Nick. Nick. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're li- Hank. oh, Hank's funny, but Nick's not. Okay. <laughs> Up next, our patron, St. Madeline Kahn, gatekeeper. Do you remember just before you were arrested, we were having a cuddle? I was raping you, if that's what you mean. <laughs> All right. She played Betty. She died young also, died in 1999, only 57 from ovarian cancer. I think yellow beard was the cause of a lot of these people's young, right, asbestos. untimely There's death. asbestos in But the so set. many of them are still alive. But not really, because, yeah. I mean, yeah. Marty Feldman died during the making of this movie. This is the last thing that Graham Chapman ever did, and I'm sure the next guy that Jason's going to talk about never did anything again after this either. Andrew, how did you know I was going to talk about James Mason, who played <laughs> Captain Hughes, who died and in... This has tits. He's been a bit ill, sir. Get her off. <laughs> Get off. Captain <laughs> Hughes, he died in 1984. <laughs> so a year after this movie yeah. came out. Had a heart attack. Uh, his top four. Wrong. We haven't talked about Jimmy Mason. So if you want to try his top four. Now, I, I grew up watching a movie called um, Heaven Can Wait. That's, oh, that's what I was going to say. James yeah. Mason I remember that movie. is really the only thing I know him from growing up. But That's uh, not in his top four. I know four, he was though. like a... 40s and 50s guy and i mostly know him from gilbert godfrey doing his james impression mason of him impression, yeah uh, <laughs> let me do my james mason impression. he seemed to do a later in life james mason didn't he <laughs> i don't think there was a later in life did he die he like, died 75 oh yeah. was he that old yeah. in this okay all right um top four was lolita the uh oh, the, the, kubrick the, one uh-huh uh-huh a star is born that was the, one of uh, them the really old judy one. garland one probably yeah. uh north by northwest oh okay and Julius Caesar, Julius Caesar, and my last person from the uh, cast I have uncredited as the shark. Oh, David Bowie. David Bowie. Wait, what? I can't believe you didn't know it was David Bowie. I don't even remember seeing the shark in this movie. David Bowie is uncredited in this movie as the shark. He had really flat hair. Well, it was so. I guess I didn't I even pick so up on blonde. This. Well, yep. I had to rewind because I was like, I thought I was having. A it's stroke. that quick. <laughs> it is that quick. He's not in there that long. But when they bring her in to be interrogated, is when he's the one bringing her in. And then when I saw that is he that was the shark, bringing I was like, in Madeline Kahn. Yes, like when she's like hanging off the ship. Which was hilarious as they brought her up all soaked and wet and everything. But And then she goes, the encounter with the shark is what changed my mind. Then when he walks out, you see his fin and you realize <laughs> that he was the shark. Wow, I, did, I didn't pick up on that at all. I The one person that I thought Jason was going to bring up and right I'm there. feverishly <laughs> looking for <laughs> the him. <laughs> There's David Bowie with the fin. I had to look up the guy that, that was, was him like. standing behind Madeline. I think Eric Idle. How the fuck did I miss that? Was that yeah. that clear in the movie? Yes, it's so it, it was shocking. That's what I'm saying. He's so blonde, like you said. His hair is super blonde in this, and he's thing. just like he has like that air of David Bowie to him. That when he walks on, it's you're like you're like what? Yeah, it's like it's a you feel his presence. That's you know? true. Um, that's all I had for the cast. This is the uh, like Andy mentioned uh, final appearances for Marty Feldman, and this was also the last thing Graham Chapman did. And Peter Bull, the guy that played the Queen. Queen Anne, <laughs> last thing he ever did. And also, I'm feverishly trying to find out the guy. All right. The dude that played in Young Frankenstein, the one that I always said was Harvey Corman. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He was in this. He though. was in this yeah, as two it. roles. Yeah. This is the last thing he ever did, too. I am telling Damn. you, this movie killed people. Yeah. And Madeline Kahn died Not young because of this West movie. Not as many Twilight Zone, either. <laughs> We're looking forward to doing that one with the Kev. Um I think I loved this movie. Eric Idle said that this is one of the worst movies he's yeah. ever done, <laughs> but later said that it was the best times can be on the worst movies and vice versa, e.g. Yellowbeard, which I wouldn't have missed for the world. So he had a great time on the set, but it's the worst movie he's ever it, done. It made me. there. Were, I wasn't laughing out loud more till the end, but like the first one that got me was when there's all the dead bodies and Madeline Kahn's digging through it <laughs> and they're clearly stabbed and they go, how'd they die? And she goes, the plague. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only time anybody that so got hard. stabbed that made me laugh was when Cheech got stabbed. And he's like, no more acting or no more <laughs> yeah. overacting. No and then he got acting. stabbed and he was overacting for like five minutes. That's the, that that might be the only time I actually guffawed in this entire movie. <laughs> I, I loved every time Yellowbeard was on the film because he was horrible, but he was so unhinged, like you couldn't stop watching. You didn't think he was like following a script. It just seemed like he was no, just shouting anything. No, it seemed anything. like they just let him do whatever yeah. he wanted to do. Like, he's like crawling in the window at one point and he makes eye contact <laughs> with one guy. Um, <laughs> it just goes again. So I, I just looked it up real fast. Kenneth Mars, the guy that played the guy I was thinking about, he was in Young Frankenstein as uh, the inspector. Yeah. 
with the the darts, and he was in this in two right. roles. He was crisp, the guy they throw overboard, and then he was the French guy later on with the terribly drawn on. Yes, when, when they the torturer, the torturer, right, right, and. I didn't know he was playing a dual role. I just thought, like, now he made it to the island. He's played another guy. But when I looked up in the credits right now, it's a dual role. But he actually did not die. Right, he lived until the two thousand. So was this did not kill him young. Sick on this movie because no one looked good. I will say that. Ugh. Like it Eric Idle, ugly looking I think movie. was the best Marty looking Feldman one. Marty Feldman was basically dying. Well, yeah. there we go. Like yeah. everyone looked like the makeup was bad. Yeah. Like it was an ugly. Like every shot thing. of a boat just looked stock footage oh, but not that. even that was up, stock footage that, they that made shit. me so happy every time they showed that i was <laughs> like this is so fake according to the book yellowbeard hijinks on the high seas sting wanted to play the re- lead role of dan but hollywood executives thought the movie was becoming too english and mandated an american actor be cast and in the end this went to martin but hewitt who was english who dan was but, British and, and Mar- Madeline Kahn was speaking Britain. with an accent. With an accent the best yeah. part is Sting. Uh, Martin Hewitt said Sting should have had my part for crying out loud. I would have had hired Sting over me any day. He said. But like <laughs> they they wanted an American, but then they gave the guy a British accent. So what? Actually, I don't even know if he's American. He was speaking with a British accent. So, John yeah. John Cleese calls this movie one of the six worst films made in the history of the world. <laughs> Man, I would love to know what John Cleese's six worst movies are. This like, was he, was he in them. all of them? Oh, I don't know, but this I is I mean, that would be them. awesome if he was saying six, <laughs> like, he was, the he was in guy, Charlie's right? Angels. He's and, blind. I loved that character. Yeah, he was the they best. they would do, like, the, 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 the hearing and he'd yeah. go. But they do that sound like... Yes, it was like uh, echo location. Of the cast, three of them were from Monty Python, Graham Chapman, uh, John uh, Cleese, and Eric Idle. Cleese stated that he accepted a role in this movie only as a favor to Graham Chapman and that he thought the script was the worst that he had ever read. And yet he still did. And why did Eric Idle do it? For the exact same reason as a, a, a gift to Graham Chapman? And why didn't Terry Jones or Terry Gilliam or uh, who am I missing? Um also, the, oh, uh, Michael Palin. Why didn't they do it? I'm sure they were offered roles. I also have, before Martin Hewitt, uh, there was somebody else that was uh, playing uh, Dan, and that was Adam Ant. He was originally cast as Dan, but quit. He was British. But quit after <laughs> losing patient with delays in production. So they wanted, they had a British guy, then they went to an American guy because they didn't want a British guy. <laughs> could you imagine? I don't know if I could uh, <laughs> but picture he had a British Adam accent. Ant. Can you picture Adam Ant in this? Or no? Oh, sure. Why not? I can picture anybody <laughs> in any role in this movie. <laughs> oh, see, I think differently. I think they made it work because of who it was. And I was, I was just charmed endlessly. It might have been better with like a, a name. I'd be like, oh, fuck, Sting. If Sting had been in this movie in 1983, I would have seen this movie 20 times in the theater. <laughs> Here's a nice little story, like too. Dune next year. Martin Hewitt, Graham Chapman, and David Bowie all went out on a town one night driving around in a Jeep drunk. Bowie ended up plowing into a taxi, basically totaling it. He then pulled out a wad of money and paid off the taxi owner with $5,000 while their security detail rushed them back to the yacht they were staying on. So David Bowie was drunk driving <laughs> yes. with Graham and, Chapman. And destroyed and a yacht, um, a taxi. That's awesome. Well, yeah. I wonder what, what island money can get you. What's that? What island do you think they were on? What, what, like it feel, I felt like it was the Bahamas. They kept like... Focusing it was around definitely that the Caribbean. Caribbean. No, they went to Madagascar. Area. They said. Did you Madagascar. see any palm trees? No, no, that was a distraction. Oh, Did you see okay. any palm trees this <laughs> time? Oh yeah, <laughs> all over the Weren't island. Were you distracted? <laughs> I did. I lost the plot a couple times. Uh, because I really? Because then Yellowbeard think- had to kill the the steerer and yes. then he redirected the ship okay that's why you kill i didn't know why you killed him i was very confused by that i felt bad for the, the only person of color in this movie that was immediately <laughs> murdered on i don't film. think you lost the plot i think there was no plot i don't think you yeah, lost i it. think that's the plot was you you were following it correctly <laughs> oh <laughs> her, talking Chichin about Chang- the hairstyles i love the girl's hairstyle <laughs> on the island the princess she had those golden skulls in her hair only for a couple scenes and they disappeared and i was so sad and they disappeared it's like that don't, was a great hairstyle don't you should chong count those guys of color probably not, do but i'm not sure what the rules are so i, mean, I'll listen I to don't you. think any of us I'll listen to really you, the, can have a say the, the white girl over here to tell me what i should think <laughs> about things <laughs> she's a millennial oh That's my what god we're good at. the worst fucking people on the planet they've ruined everything uh, <laughs> oh, I loved how I couldn't remember the one person's name, so I just called him Dan's real dad because he was clearly Dan's real father, <laughs> and he just kept getting progressively drunker and drunker. And I just loved him. I loved it when he pushed that girl down a cellar. Oh yeah, I got a clip for that. 
Well, not for that, but for... Can I have three farthings for a lump of shit, please? Thank <laughs> you, I said, can I have three farthings for a lump of shit? <laughs> but I loved how he took care of it. He was like, you can't just hit my son. He was just like such a supportive father. He was. He let his wife go off into the hedges with yellow beard. I don't know if she had a choice. <laughs> Steady. I felt one of the Steady. biggest problems in this movie was that Cheech and Chong... What that I laughed at at the beginning of the movie and then laughed at at the end of the movie were not in the movie for about an hour in the middle yes, of it. True. Like they're I in the very... first scene and then at the end because every time Cheech would say like your ruthlessness or your your arrogance molestri- molestation or whatever, like he would <laughs> always insult him. And then uh, the Tommy Chung accent was kind of stupid, the lisp that he had or whatever, but. They were funny. They they looked like they wanted to be there. Everybody else is just kind of like, I'm doing a favor for Graham. That's <laughs> what everybody like, said basically role. that I read on here that all the all the uh all the um Python, that's what they did this because Graham asked them to. <laughs> but again, and, why did half the Monty Python guys? And they do said it? the only thing they loved about it was they had so much fun on the uh I think one of the things that always made Monty Python movies great was that it was just the six of them and they would play all the roles. Yeah. This movie probably would have been better if it was just the six of them doing all the roles. That, that one guy was the only one who played a dual role. Yeah, and it's crazy. <laughs> Terry yeah. Jones and Michael Palin, they turned down Dr. Kilpin and Dan, respectively. There you go. See, like, they should. It would probably have been better with them in those roles, but also playing all the women, it too. Been a, a whole Python movie. It yeah. should have just been a Python Why movie. was this not a Monty Python movie? I, mean, I know they had just done Meaning of Life, and that was kind of the end of Monty Python but if you this would have been better. I mean, yeah, you're almost there. You got three, and you got the three, I don't want to say the best, because they all are great, also, but uh, the some three of the, main ones. Some of the extras were staff members of Go from Club Med in uh, Ixtapa, Mexico. Oh, that's so where, that's where this they is were. Club, Mexico, Med. Huh? Okay. Club Med in Mexico, yeah. So not the Bahamas. Sorry, so, my bad. <laughs> I have a question. That's here. You have many, I thought. I have, a, I have a whole page, <laughs> but- why was Dan elected to be captain? Like they're all like, yeah, did Dan. He, did he they, kill the captain? Yeah, they thought that he killed. Oh, okay. The, that he thought that he killed um, the guy, Moon. Mr. Chris. Oh, Chris, right? Yeah. But there was a whole thing with them changing the course, and all it was was uh, Yellowbeard changing the course yeah. of the yeah. ship with but tying it down. At that point, he was already captain. Is that when he was already? No, I thought that was when they said was he Mr. knows what he's doing, but Mr. Moon thought dan knew where the island was so that's why he made them okay there's a lot of like confusion as to who was on whose side and why are the motivation and the motivations was like for the treasure but who's who's gonna stab who in the back and what i told andy this morning was i i felt like there was a a story going on over here but then there was also a story going on over here it just felt like it wasn't all together yeah it was like maybe because i watched it so many times that okay i have more questions on that okay um, so only three treasure chests that he has doesn't seem that extravagant. No. Why is everyone losing their mind? But it's more gold and oh, gold than enough to buy Denmark. Um, yeah, that was <laughs> Denmark was cheap back then. But also like that man. At the, so is the man at the beginning, right? Is the same man at the end. Like the one who's like, I'm rich. That was I'm the richest Chong, man right? That was, that was, yeah, yeah. Chong was the. But it's the same character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he but again, they, they skipped, they, they didn't have him in the movie for an hour well, in the middle. So, but he started out as a priest in the Spanish royal court. He didn't want to go to back to Spain. He wanted to keep the money. But he didn't keep the money because they stole the money. So where did his money come from? He stole, it, it, they were bringing, it was a, he was a Spanish vessel. They were going back to Spain. I know, but Yellowbeard said, stole all of his money. And, and then the, he just stole those three treasure yeah. chests. There's oh, a okay. lot more. On the same ship? And he no, was, and when they were in Mexico, like they were- they were robbing and they also they yada yada over people. the fact that like you see Yellowbeard take over the ship and then they're like 19 and a half years later, he's a prisoner in it's we, like, oh, wait, for tax wait, evasion. That did ca- make me chuckle. Wait, he got caught and thrown in there jail? No, he got <laughs> caught for tax evasion. tax evasion. And it was basically right. just Al Capone. Like that's what they got oh, Al Capone. Or the mo- I thought of like a mobster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's what Al Capone was in oh, arrested for. He, he got arrested for uh And him and Marty Feldman escaped in five minutes. Yes. <laughs> and he, he was, escaped. He was waiting 20 years yeah. to be let All go. All of a sudden they said, you got to stay in jail longer. He's like, well, now I'm escaping. Like, what? I've got to go. Pi- like, he's a shitty pirate. He would have escaped day one <laughs> yeah. doing that coffin trick. He easily could have left. Yeah. 
based on that, based on how well, that was like when he got there he too. <laughs> well, he must have left because she was like, remember, fifteen years ago we had that cuddle, but he'd been in jail for rape. twenty years. And, and Why now it became a rape? <laughs> the, when the kid was saying he was twenty years old, I'm like, didn't she just say they were like cuddling fifteen they hadn't, years? Yes. Ago? No, they they hadn't seen each other for fifteen. years. So she visited him on his five year anniversary. I thought it was in jail. But then when he came in, he went right back to the wall. They had been together. They had the cuddle twenty years ago. But then he hadn't th- hadn't seen her for fifteen years. I think you're I think 20. you're making that up because in my notes I have he hasn't seen her fifteen in 20 years. or twenty years. Well, no, because she's man. saying, "Hey, remember fif- fifteen years ago we had that cuddle?" And he's like, "I didn't." No, no, or- that wasn't that. Yes, that's exactly what she said. Play it. All right. Do you have the whole clip? No, Lord. Do you remember just before you were arrested, we were having a cuddle? Right before you were arrested. Twenty years before. Right before you were arrested. You can't just say 20 years 20. over and then that's the answer. But they didn't say that's 20 right. years. He said 20 years. Yeah, I know. He's making been, it up. He'd, how long was he in jail for? 20, 20 years. <laughs> right before you got arrested. How long ago was that? 20 years. Okay. We I don't have any a cuddle. Notes, Andy. Huh. Where did all said, the... I thought they said he was in there for 15 years at some point. I thought there was a 15-year cop. No, he, Either way. When she showed up, he said, uh, he was like, what do you want? And she was like, I haven't seen you for 15 years. Yes. I don't know who did the music, but they originally asked Harry Nilsson to do the music. And he was like, you get the fuck at me. <laughs> Why did she want him to be Dan's father? <laughs> for the gold. Oh, had, for the wait, treasure. He had the map on his head, right? Yeah. yeah. But she tattooed when he was two minutes old. It was very Why specific. Why did she need yellow beard to like, she should have taken him and just gone with him. Like just Dan, she had well, the map. She didn't know show... what island. There's no way that sword would have cut the hair that way. There's no. <laughs> oh, I love that. There's no phys- was... There was no I'm physical always... way that that <laughs> would. <cross me. laughs> like I don't know weaponry in any way, but when someone just like hits you in the chest with the side of a sword, <laughs> is that supposed to kill you? I thought it was like the tip of the sword that killed you because there was a lot of like sideways hacking oh, and guys are just dropping yeah. and one of my favorite scenes i think now in any movie is going to be when they are told to let them win <laughs> so like they're shooting just up and then people are falling and like yeah. pretending there was to be the dead one... <laughs> and they're like we're so good at this the the guy with the gray curls i forget he pulled out the gun and shot it in the air and two guys fell off the side and the two guys like looked at each other like uh, they, they, he's like, good shot. Yeah, and sir. they were just doing this, and they were clearly not touching, and they're all like fake acting. Which made I the, loved the it. which made the uh, the Cheech death even better because they were all like cheering him as he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, the best part of this movie was Cheech and Chong because they were at their height. This was this is right right, right in the middle of Cheech and uh, Chong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Prime, I mean, Monty Python had already been like broken up by this point, so they're not the best. Cheech and Chong the, are the best. The least interesting parts for me. Do you have more questions? Where did all the women come from that were on that ship? That was like the, in the beginning. All of a sudden, like all the p- pirates are just happy with these women, but I didn't understand where they had come from. They probably just kidnapped them. Yeah. And also, just a comment: it took a very long time to get a gratuitous breast in this movie. Yes, that's true. Great a PG breast. Too, Great don't forget. PG. Was it the girls at? At Chong's palace at the end there, where they were like fanning him, was that the first boobs? Yeah, then? yeah, because there were a yeah. lot then. Yeah, there was a lot. Yeah, it then. was That's a when lot. It was, then. Yeah, but not his pure daughter <laughs> that pure fell daughter. in love with yeah. everybody around. Yeah, her. that that was actually pretty funny when she was just like, "I'm not in love with you anymore. He's I'm like, in love with you." He's like, "I know." <laughs> oh, my also, favorite character was Mr. Prostitute. That was oh, my yeah. favorite Mr. character Mr. in the whole movie. Mr. Prostitute, who is <laughs> responsible for <laughs> nail that man's foot to the deck. <laughs> oh, I liked when they're, I don't even know what he just said. When they're trying to Nail sneak that man's everybody the in, deck. and they're like the crocodile, and they're like, "We're allowed a pet." <laughs> but open then when, it, then and then as it. she's walking back, the guy has the, the sheep, and she's like, "You can't bring it. They're really strict." <laughs> and that made me laugh. And then I have a quote from the girl too. What's happened to Daddy? I killed him. He's gone to heaven. Oh, that's nice. He sent all his friends there. I liked that one too. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Also, that scene of the acid reminded me of uh, Austin Powers. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Austin Powers <laughs> reminded you of this. No. Well, I'd seen Austin Powers first. I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. That, that checks out. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust a woman or a government. Never trust a junkie. Oh. She couldn't be your mother. No woman ever slept with me and lived. See, now I'm just like <laughs> pulling out the quotes that I liked. Oh, and of course he was talking about dagos and frogs i was like ah oh, dago is good 
<laughs> I love watching when some Italian insult comes up, and I look at Michelle. I'm like, huh? He killed. She was already. She was already, she was already snoring by that point. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was like, start. Dago's. They said the word. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I like the sparklers that would just show up. Yeah, in his what was hair. with that? Like, I don't had, know. At the beginning and the end, we had like I just loved the, it. He had fire. It was a pirate out. thing though, that they would put little cords of burning stuff in them to make them look more fearsome. Oh. Listen, Brian, you and I and went to a pirate they museum. Could, I don't remember. They that could ever light the cannons up. on fire. There was a lot of it. fighting yeah. in the beginning. In the beginning, they were fighting, grabbing by the nose a lot. Did you notice <laughs> yeah. that? Well, the one time it was funny when when. Uh, What's his Chris was hanging off the boat by the nose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He like turned around and looked out the window. He's like hanging and then let him go. That was fun. But I also loved all uh, the names and then it was Dan. Right? Yeah, it makes no sense. <laughs> Dan. I gotta be honest, man. This movie sucked. I hated why uh, Michelle and I started it last night. I watched 40 minutes of it. She was asleep 10 minutes in. And I didn't like this movie either. 40 <laughs> minutes in, I'm like, I'm not watching any more of this. I'll go into this podcast tomorrow and say I watched it all, but really only watched half of it. Then this morning, the dogs woke me up early. I let the dogs out. I sat down at like 5.30 in the morning. I'm like, ah, maybe the second half is good. And the second half was not good. <laughs> but I watched the second half. Are you giving your score now? Nah, but I'm just kind of giving you my feelings of this. Like, I don't want my love for certain things in this movie. There were certain lines, all the people. The cast was awesome. The, the cast makes you want to like this movie. I did not like this movie. All right. I don't have any more notes. What do you got? <laughs> I just have my quotes. I liked the. It is definitely a scientific fact that it's unlucky to have a woman on board a ship. <laughs> it's don't tell me that. I'm getting on a cruise fact. ship soon. It's unlucky like to have a banana on a boat. Is it? Yes. The banana boat. What? But didn't they bring but <laughs> <laughs> He does that every podcast. Why? <laughs> and, a, and it makes you mad. He gets so mad at it, too. Well, no, now good. I can get rid of it. Now I can, but, but you don't want them fucking up your mics. Well, if as long as you're not hitting them, like the, the, the most expensive one. <laughs> I have the most expensive one. Yeah, these two. Oh, please don't give me that one then. <laughs> Listen, I gotta have. I have to wear a guard. I mean, these aren't much cheaper. Like, these are. I don't know why. Why do I wear so. a guard again? I forget. Um, Jason pops the peas. No, no, it wasn't because you're popping peas. It was you get weight too close to it yeah i like to put it in my mouth i'm like yeah oh. and, but then some with the guard you, you now nah, i just to, put my nose in yeah right. you get right on it and, and it comes <sighs> out good i'm like judy gemstone <laughs> did you oh, watch this week i have not oh, watched this week so good this week's episode was judy so good gemstone do you watch it the righteous uh, gemstone i gotta wait till it's all done right, i haven't watched. seen the second season is it it's third, is third worth continuing yeah. i know that's yeah. how behind i loved the first season but it, second season was great Third season's okay. been so good too. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I'd rather talk about that than this movie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Anything else? I, I really liked it. <laughs> I would watch it again. If you don't have anything else, we can go right into the scores, I right? I can definitely watch it again. The only yeah. quote I the other only so quote I have is, first? the only I only drink when I'm working. I don't even know who said that. I wrote it down. Oh, it's I'm the most good. dangerous when I'm dead. I liked that one. Since Yellow got, beard is most dangerous. I didn't get Connor's score yet. Who do we want to I go first, though? Higher scores or low uh, scores uh, first? Uh, it's out of 100, right? Yes. <laughs> the I'll, I'll go first. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't like this movie. <laughs> I don't remember if I watched this. I might have seen it when I was younger. I'm not sure. Um, the cast is amazing. I will never watch this movie again. I give it a 25. Wow. wow. Okay. I uh, watched this movie when I was young. Fuck this movie. I liked, I liked it a lot when I was young. I hated watching it over the last day. Um, I also, I mean, I am a Monty Python old school fan. Love Cheech and Chong. All the great parts of Young Frankenstein are in this. There's nothing cast-wise bad about this movie. This is a terrible, terrible, unfunny. The worst crime you can commit in a comedy is not be funny. And there is nothing funny about this movie. And now I feel my score of 45 is too high. <laughs> I feel that's too high. But I gave it a 45. And I'll never watch it again. I just, I'm giving it a 45 based on the fact that like, each Monty Python member, each Young Frankenstein member, gets and each points. Cheech and John member gets five points. They get you up to 45. Then that's it. 
You're not going to like Brady's score either. <laughs> oh, he liked it too? <laughs> and Brady liked Ast- Asteroid City, so Brady obviously is fucked up. I, He's taking too many blues to the head. I watched this alone in my apartment and was rarely on my phone for the first time. I enjoyed it so much. I'm going to watch it again. And my score is an 89. Wow. <laughs> this makes no sense. Wow. Dude, what did you rape your children as a youth, and that's why they love the rape jokes? What's going on? I don't here? know why I found them charming in this. Every time he said it, it made me laugh. Uh, Usually, I don't like this. Rape jokes. Be the most All the album scores movie. are going to be above I think 80. she gave Young Frankenstein a worse score. <laughs> I did. I did. Come on, I like this, this more than Young Frankenstein. Garbage. This is a terrible movie. Oh, it is. But I enjoyed myself nah, immensely. Nah, there's nothing enjoyable about this. Oh, I love this movie. This is definitely one of my top favorite movies. Really? Um, I'm uh, giving it an 85. How? And I can't even understand how you would like this. The guys that made the movie didn't like it. I John told Cleese you today, and Eric I Idle you. didn't like this movie. I told you today. I think he likes this. That's why he's making Katie watch this movie. I, I love this movie. And I will. De- I'll watch it again, probably another 10, 20 times. What did Brady oh, yeah. give it in the next year? Because you're dying by next year. Oh, <laughs> no, next year, no so. in my life, probably. <laughs> what did Brady give it? Brady, uh, he he's kind of split his score, but he gave it an eighty. What do you mean by split his score? And, but then he fell asleep at the end, so he he loved the first half. He wasn't a bit, you know, he, fell, he asleep fell asleep for the second it. half. What's there to love in the first half? Like, give me two points, and two parts in the There's first so half There's so many that you good jokes that yeah. are happening. It's hilarious. Like when he's, when they're putting like the flat. little coin in and he like pulls it back up again. He does it again again. Oh my those God. Are, like, <laughs> did you ever see the movie Airplane? Those are jokes. <laughs> like Fool and the Blind Man with the co- coin. I think Bugs Bunny did that in the 50s. It was not funny. I just enjoyed too. Every I love time. Peter Cook. Peter Cook was great. Like every time Yellowbeard just kept stealing women. I was like, he just can't control so we don't himself. have a score for uh, connor you said no nah. all right um the critics gave this a 22 and the audience <laughs> gave it a 64 wow all right that's a little high i don't like that 64 <laughs> but <laughs> yeah this movie is it's straight up trash i feel like this might be the worst movie we've done i think so on this podcast but they, now with the point wise it won't look like that because of the scores <laughs> that they were giving them but i i'm shocked i called this that they were going to love this movie <laughs> This is a great movie. It was so fun. Oh my god, it's not fun. <laughs> it's ugly to look at. It's ugly to listen to. It was uh It's a dark it's dark like the color yeah. there's not much color. And I kind of give a except pass for David get... Bowie, that's the only color. Oh my god. Really it was so <laughs> great. That. That's David I don't know how Bowie. I missed that. I either Cameo. got to go to the bathroom or just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Cuz I love give you the that. staggering on the beach and they're trying to find their crawl, place. Crawl, crawl, stagger, stagger. <laughs> Oh really? I thought that was so dumb. <laughs> I thought that was stupid too. And then she was because he didn't too? have the map. He was trying to recreate. How, yeah, I got why he was doing it. I thought it was. And dumb. then when she was doing it too, and they were all following her in a line. <laughs> wow, man! It made I think me Walk too. this way ten years ago was much funnier. Come on, this way. That was funny. This was not funny. Stagger what was that from that from was, fucking uh, young, young Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Oh. That was when they go and takes the cane. Oh okay. Oh, good movie. <laughs> Um, I definitely like this more than next meaning week we're of doing life. a good movie. Wait, what? Oh, so I definitely like this more than Meaning of Life. No way. All right, so this is Katie's last appearance on this podcast. <laughs> take the shirt it down might be too. Brian's also. <laughs> Let me take the shirt down too. <laughs> no, that stays. The shirt stays. The patron saint. Next oh. week we're doing at least a fun movie. We're either doing Cujo or Evil Dead. It depends on. Uh, I just wow. saw the new one. I, I cannot guess. believe we're doing. Halloween I watched Evil Dead Rise. July. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, we probably won't Evil Dead Rise does, doesn't yeah. need to be an Evil Dead movie. It should just be Rise because there's no sense. You shouldn't be an Evil Rise. Dead. Movie. Well, it has the book. Like, yeah, we're saying we're doing, hardly, but it's not going to. It should not be. September. It's not Evil October. Dead to me. If you watch Evil okay. Dead, Evil Dead Two, and Army of Darkness, that's Evil Dead. This Evil Dead Rise was just garbage. I like the remake in twenty thirteen. I thought it was good, but this new one. Was Did you that see good. the new um, Insidious? I never saw the original. Yeah, I've never seen. The I only saw the first Insidious, and I didn't like it. And I thought all of them were cookie cutters. And it's a PG thirteen horror movie. That's not going to do. It's it not going to scare you. Are those the? I love the Conjuring universe. Are those PG thirteen? I believe so. Yeah, I've never seen any. I of love those. Patrick Wilson. Oh, he's an in Insidious, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah. He's, he's in, in both? that, and he's in the Conjuring, and he's in Phantom of the Opera. Isn't he in uh, Annabelle too? Is he in those? Or yeah, those. That's the Conjuring universe. Yeah. So he's in all of the Conjuring. And universe he's also ones. in uh, Aquaman. So who Ew, is it? He is not in Aquaman. He's the fucking bad guy oh. in one of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> he has such a good voice, though. Who is it? 
Patrick, Patrick Wilson. Wilson. But he was in Fargo, and he was awesome he's, in Fargo. He's the Raul. TV show, the TV show. He's Raul, Raul in um, Phantom of the Opera, who Christine ends up with. Wait, is it, was that Phantom, Phantom of the Opera in a movie? Christine's the movie, yeah. Okay, I didn't know Phantom it was a movie, of yeah. the Opera. <laughs> Would you I go was, and see that was that beautiful. On Broadway? It just left. Well, you I should come on. Gone. Yeah, you should come on for one of our horror movies. Yeah, I love horror movies. Pick one out. Let me see. I'll give you real quick uh, what we got here for horror. When's Christine come out? You got to have mom on that She's one. Going I, I that. asked her. She yeah. said she'll come on and she said she will talk. Oh, it's, well, oh it's I meant the movie, Christine, like the killer car. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. We're having your mom your on. Okay, off. good. That's Is she actually going to talk? Well, she was so um, disappointing in Grease 2. Our Christine, horror is, why don't you tell us what you think about this movie? And then everybody has to shut up and let her talk. <laughs> Just our to get horror, her drunk. We yeah. have... Amityville 3D we can't do because it's not streaming anywhere. Oh. Evil Dead, Cujo, Mortuary, Twilight Zone, the movie, Psycho 2, The Dead Zone, Christine. Uh, oh, Cujo and Christine came out the same year. And Dead yes. Zone, three Stephen King Oh, that's a Stephen King one too. But um, thanks for having uh, Katie on, right, everybody? I want to say thank you. Uh, Even though I, I mean, ruined the scores. We didn't, like your, we didn't really care for your score, but we will have you back on. <laughs> <laughs> I had a wrong opinion. That was um, a bad opinion. No, we had, we All did, the Alpin scores on this were just terrible. Can and you he, tell who we were raised by? He, it never ceases to amaze us, right? Anything we think that he should like, he doesn't. And anything that we think he's going to hate, he loves. So I feel it was all the rape jokes. And I feel you're like jerking off to that stuff. I Ew. really think that that's what it's all about. You know no, what else? I don't think that's what it's all about. Nah, I think it is. I'll why, tell you what, why do you think I like those? You know what else he jerks off to? Spreaker? Spreaker. And everywhere else you can get our podcast. All our socials are the exciting and new. Download, rate, subscribe, review, do all those fun things. Interact with us on our socials. Um, it's the Jazoo over there on Instagram, Jazoo74 on Twitter. This has been the exciting and new podcast, and I'm Jason. A Gonzo1970 on Instagram. A Gonzo19. Ah, fuck. One. A Gonzo1 on Twitter. I've been drinking, and I'm Andy. I'm Brian. And he's Papa, Papa Bear Kitty. Kitty. I'm Katie at Katie Alpin. <laughs>